Good evening, Earthlings. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie O. Check it, 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 check it. Now, before you ask me why the hell am I wearing sunglasses in this video, why you think I'm doing a concealer review, huh? Huh? Some of us need to hide the struggles from the night before. Look, today's 4th of July and I'm trying to raid somebody's barbecue. But before I head out, I wanted to test out the new Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Everybody's been saying really good things about this concealer. By the way, FYI, everyone thinks that this had to do with my launch. This had nothing to do with my launch. I didn't formulate these in any way, shape, or form. I had nothing to do with that. I didn't even know that existed when we did the Born This Way Foundation. This is just as new to me as it is to everyone else. It's Too Faced newest concealer product and everyone's comparing it to Tarte Shape Tape, which I think can be a good or a bad thing because I personally find Shape Tape to be a little drying, but I think that everybody's kind of saying it's like up there as far as like coverage and, and staying put and long wearability, all that good stuff. So I want to get my hands dirty and try it out today and let's Jump right in, why don't you? Before we do get started, I'm gonna scoop right on up. I'm gonna look you right in the lens and tell you that let's talk about subscribing. I love when people join the Jackie Anna family and it just warms my heart, you know? Like, I would just love for you to subscribe. Also, make sure you tap that bell button so you will receive notifications whenever there's new uploads so you can be the first to be in on the Jackie Anna realness. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Can I just say that I'll be really glad when this goes away. It looks, it just reminds me of the chicken pox or something. Like this isn't the 1920s, can you let me live? I'm priming my skin first with the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I would like to take back what I said in my video on like tips and tricks on how to use Born This Way Foundation. Don't sleep on Hangover Primer because you think it's not doing nothing, but this actually controls oil from Born This Way Foundation like 10 times better. I don't know what it is. Born This Way does get really dewy if you don't wear the right primer or if you try to dry your skin out too much. I'm gonna follow up the primer with my foundation, of course, Born This Way. I'm gonna use my new shade, which is Chai, link in bio. And if you are new to my channel, first of all, welcome, I'm so glad you're here. I recently got to collaborate with Too Faced to curate my new shades by Chicken Pox Mark. Goodbye, stay in your lane. My skin's a little sensitive in this area because I went a little too hard on the scrub yesterday. It was so unintentional. So I'm gonna try to be really gentle and hopefully this concealer won't irritate my skin too much. I'm usually pretty gentle with my skin too. I don't know what's wrong with me. So the Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer comes in 20 shades. Okay, obviously this is the the least, this is not, I, this is definitely not ideal. That's not my doing. From just by looking at the bottles are frosted. So the darkest shade is Coco. This is Too Faced newest full coverage concealer that's supposed to highlight, contour, and like blur the skin. It's also supposed to be hydrating, buildable, smooth, and sculpt skin for high, high coverage. Allergy alert, it does have coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid, my favorite ingredient. That's my Boy, it's hyaluronic acid, man. Those are also one of the main ingredients in Born This Way Foundation that this probably is going to be pretty compatible with the foundation, I mean, I would hope. This is actually their second Born This Way concealer. They used to have another formula. It was in a slimmer bottle. I have it somewhere in my room over there on the other side. It's just day one of my period. I'm going through a lot. You gonna make me walk? Fine, you gonna make me walk. Fine. All right, so this was the original Born This Way Natural Radiant Concealer. I honestly didn't even feel like this was a concealer. This was a very watery, no, that's actually not as watery as I remember it being. It's got a decent amount of coverage, but it's very natural. It's very skin-like. A Little bit more, less is more, no makeup makeup. This is supposed to be your beat face Barbara full spackle alert, okay? Which I'm all the way here for. But I do like a little bit of both. So let's see how the two compare when swatched next to each other. Oh, the <sighs> difference is pretty clear. Not only is it a thicker formula, the natural one is definitely more radiant. There's more shine. I mean, obviously you're not gonna wear the concealer wet like that. Coco is the darkest shade. The shades, considering how many light and medium and really light there are, definitely need work. I would like to see Chai in this collection. I would like to see my ganache in this collection. I, in this collection, I would like to see, where's hazelnut? It's hazelnut, hazelnut's not even, hazelnut's not even here. This is maple. I don't know what this looks like. I just grabbed it. Okay, that is like a hair lighter than what I would like, but I feel like chestnut may be close to my skin tone. So let's just, let's just see what it looks like. Let's just see what it looks like. Can't knock Chai, you know what I mean? You, know, you, can, you gotta test it out. Ooh, chestnut's pretty. Let's see how she looks next to 
Amond. Looks like it's got some golden undertone. Here's Amond, here's chestnut, here's mocha. I felt like mocha would have been a bit too light for me. I'm gonna go for chestnut. Chestnut is my highlight shade, so I'm gonna assume that my skin tone color is probably mahogany. And if that mahogany is anything like the mahogany in Born This Way, that's probably gonna be too red for my actual skin tone. So I wouldn't even have something that I could use to like spot treat. I mean, cocoa is a little too close to my complexion to contour, so we gonna need to work on it. I mean, this would have been a great range with 25 had they added the new shades. By the time this product existed though, my new shades weren't even thought of yet. So I don't know if that's in the works, but if this concealer is as high coverage and as amazing as everyone's raving about, then they're definitely, definitely gonna need to add more shade. The concealer retails for 29 Zolas and she's a really thick, like this is a thicky thick bottle. She looked like she showed up for the 4th of July barbecue way before I did. Look at this compared to the foundation and this is half an ounce. I mean, most foundations are a standard one ounce, 1 1.5 ounce. This is half of that, so that's actually not bad. Born This Way is one ounce and retails for 40 Zoolas. All right then, cool. So now we don't talk about the stats or whatever. I'm gonna keep talking through as I highlight my life away. Okay. Good color. Good color chestnut. Good, good. I was definitely expecting to see a bunch of pink in there. But I'm glad to know that I have a highlight shade that's not, so this is nice. This applicator, first impressions, is amazing at spreading the concealer on my five head. I always highlight this into my forehead, so sometimes, depending if the applicator's too thin or like too uh, flimsy, it'll start to like leave streak marks. And not that it matters because I'm gonna blend it out anyway, but this is just giving me a really smooth application of product that I appreciate. I'm gonna test out what Coco looks like as a contour, even though I know it's, it's a myth. It's not, it's not happening. I mean, it's like showing up, but this is like a winter contour. You know, it actually doesn't look as light as I thought it would be, but I need a bit more depth. And I've started with one layer of concealer. I'm definitely known to double up you know, just for a rainy day, you never know. And I'm gonna see how we like this one layer and then go from there. And you guys know my rule with concealer is that I like to let them dry down, you know, marinate, a little cook, you know, a little seasoning, a little something. I don't see or feel like this concealer is drying down, staying in place. It looks like we still got some playroom. You know, Coco didn't do too, too bad. It looks like it's a little pink though. So let me reevaluate my golden life. Now we're gonna blend. Oh, okay. Interesting. So far, easy to blend. Definitely did not dry down to a super matte finish because that's not what I'm looking for in a concealer. I'm not looking for the next Shape Tape. I want something that um, is better than Shape Tape. Like, I mean, Shape Tape was good. Like if I was, you know, stranded on Desert Island, I would, oh, I would use Shape Tape, regardless of the fact. But she wasn't my kind of tea. Like I needed something that was a little bit more nourishing so far i feel like this may be it yeah it doesn't mat down it doesn't get too dry still moves still spreads by the way i always do my makeup with two mirrors especially when it's like complexion reviews so get yourself a magnified mirror i think this is the five times or the three times i don't know and then i have like a regular mirror so that you can see what you look like like your whole face you know from far away what looks good up close you pull back and you're like whoa uh, excuse uh-uh, 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 back up, time out. I just wanna make sure that I'm seeing, you know, my angles from like every angle, if that makes sense. And um, so far, I'm liking what I see. This definitely is giving me more coverage than the natural radiant. I actually think it looks pretty good. I think I could use a little bit more, so I'm gonna double up once again with chestnut. Not even double, I'm just gonna go back. Like when I say that, I usually just mean like right in the innermost corner and then I blend it out. So factoring in the color that I use is chestnut. There are one, two, three, wait, yeah. One, two, three colors after me and personally, that I don't think is impressive at all. I definitely would hope that they would extend not only the darker shades, but like the in-between, you know? So, so far, She's really cute. I'm gonna top this off with the Born This Way setting powder. I'm almost positive 
I feel like I've definitely tried this before. I just remembered, now they've come out with two new shades. They have a dark shade that is literally like my skin tone and then they have another one that's more of like a buttery yellow. I definitely feel like because of what happened the first time I tried it, I think that this one may be a little bit more chocolate girl friendly just because you guys know I love a butter yellow. I love something that's got some tint in it. And to be truthful, the reviews on this powder seem to be eh, like they've been kind of hit or miss, like more on the miss side. I don't know if I even wanna do this and just test the concealer on its own. Maybe I should just do that. Do I wanna do that? What do you wanna do, girl? What do you wanna do? Figure it out, figure it out, you got five minutes. What if I rate the concealer fairly because I didn't end up liking the powder with it? Let's just try it, fine, why not? And like I said, it's very yellow, so everybody that's olive tone, golden, it looks way brighter than it is on camera. I think you're really gonna like the color of this powder. I am gonna put it on a sponge, a beauty blender. I hate this packaging, I'm probably just gonna... Get up, get out of here. That was so dramatic, I'm so sorry you had to witness that. Go for it. Uh-oh. Hmm. I remember I wasn't all that wild about baking with this powder. I do remember that, but again, it may be because of, I don't know if it was because of the color or the color and the formula, both, I don't know. But I guess we're gonna find out today. This really mattes down too. The darker color in this collection is described as the color tan to deep. I would say it's comparable to Laura Mercier. Too Faced one is definitely more red. So I don't think I'm gonna use this one because of that. And I know that people in their reviews have noting that now that I remember using my noggin one day at a time. Laura Mercier one is definitely more yellow. So I'm gonna stick to that for all over. Thoughts though was that this powder made my skin really matte really quickly. I'm gonna move on now. She is looking a little casket ready, but that almost always is what I look like after baking and like setting my whole face with Laura Mercier anyway. So let's finish the rest of the B and then we'll do a cute little wear test. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face, come back and give you guys some thoughts. Okay, so I finished. If you hear a sound that resembles bubble guts outside, it's because it's fireworks and I'm obviously late. Please disregard, I'm so sorry. So as you can see, I did finish up the rest of the B. I do wanna point out something that I think is really, really important. So I was blending out my highlighter, minding my business like I normally do. I use the Farsali Jelly Beam Highlighter, which if any of you guys have tried this product, it is basically a cream texture that dries down super fast. And I did something really stupid. I usually use my fingers to apply this product and without me knowing, unbeknownst to me, a little bit of it got on my hand. So what happened was while I was blending, it got under eye and it was, it was a nightmare trying to get my concealer to look normal again. I had to blend and pat and blend and pat it out in this area so much that literally my cheek is sore. So if you feel like it looks a little gray in this area, I did the absolute best that I could to blend it out and make it look normal again. Definitely don't wanna mix a champagne light highlighter in with golden yellow powders because gray is the baby they will create. That's why it looks normal here. I mean, look how seamless that, that highlight went on. This is the perfect side, and this is the prodigal stepson, this area here. But so far, I feel like I'm looking all kinds of Pam Greer beat and snatch right now. Like the wig is ready, the skin looks absolutely flawless. So I wanted to give you guys a close up look at how it all came together. There you have it. You guys, I'm not gonna lie, I really, really like the way my skin looks. Like, I think it looks really flawless. Because I know you guys are gonna ask, and I may forget this later on when I edit the video, I'm wearing Strip Search lipstick, also from Too Faced, from their Natural Love Collection. These are actually like my favorite lipsticks to date. Like, not just from Too Faced, but like, ever. And then on top of that, I put one of my favorite lip glosses. This is Saint Tropez from Anastasia. It's got a really fun pink gold shift. For my eyes, I'm wearing the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Let's talk about the concealer. I really am happy with the concealer so far. I think it blended out great. I'm happy with the coverage. I think it's exactly what I want in a concealer. I'm glad that it's not exactly like Shape Tape because if it was, I would have expected it to dry down, be super matte, be a little drying on the skin. Even though I do have oily combination skin, I like products to have a little bit of a balance. So that hyaluronic acid just won't let up, bro. So far, the concealer is definitely a go for me. I actually do really like this powder now that it's in the new color. However, the real tea is that if Too Faced made more of the Peach Perfect powders in more colors, if this shade came in Peach Perfect formula, you would never hear a complaint from me ever again. That's all I'm saying. I remember the problem that I had with the translucent version of this powder is that it did give a little bit of flashback and I don't remember it being 
very shine controlling. So today, I don't know what to expect. It's super hot. The first time I tried this powder, I wanna say it was like spring. But we're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna spark some fireworks in my face. No, I'm not doing that. And yeah, I'm gonna head out. I'll see you guys later. Okay, so checking in. It is just before, focus, focus, focus time. It is just before 1 a.m., which means I'll have worn the foundation slash concealer slash powder for about four hours now. Honestly, I do think we have a banger. Like, I have no complaints about the concealer whatsoever. I think the finish was beautiful. It still looks pretty dang on flawless. There's definitely some shine peeking through in my problem areas. These are where it usually gets shiny, corners of my nose and a little healthy glow on the center of my forehead. Haven't blotted yet, but I don't really feel like any of this is much to really scream about just yet. I am a creature of habit though. I don't know if that powder would replace my favorite. I don't know if it's there yet. The concealer is definitely something that I will actually, I'll probably take that with me to New Orleans. Definitely gonna be using that concealer. That's for sure. That's all I got. I'm happy. I think my makeup looks cool. I keep looking at the monitor because she does look really good. She's definitely crease proof. Okay, no smudges. I don't see any breakthrough under my eyes. It looks really good. Okay, I gotta go to bed. I'm tired. Thank you guys for joining me on today's video. Here's the next one. You know you want it. You know you want it. You know you, oh, I'm out of frame. Mm -mm, no, I always gotta, oof. I always gotta be in frame. You ain't never gonna forget this face. Put it right here. I put it right here. I put it right here. <laughs> hey.